here is the start of the new project and one thing I've always been thinking about is straight piping the 4430 which I'm not really sure what I want to do yet I would like to be in one and hear one before I actually do it myself what's up guys it's Mason here with cuz I farm again here with another video and in this video guys this is the beginning of the 4430 project all right I'm gonna be doing the whole interior uh, a few other things hopefully that I'm want to do but I'm not sure quite yet I gotta have you guys opinion on those but anyways guys yo if you guys could do a favor it means the world to me it may not mean a lot to you guys but if you guys could move your little cursor and hit that subscribe button, that'd mean the world to me. It takes 0.5 seconds out of your day to do that. So if you guys could do that, that'd mean the world to me. And uh, like I said, guys, subscribe, leave a like, comment what you guys think so far. And uh, let's get right down to the video. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wash the 4430 so we can have her clean before we even start. So I'm going to go ahead and wash it and uh, once we wash it, I'm going to blow out the interior so there's not all the extra, you know, stuff all over the place. But anyways, so I'll take you guys there and uh, we're going to start power washing the uh, 4430. taking off all these screws here around here I'm gonna start taking you know just this kind of stuff off all right y'all I got it out but my lord, those are some long screws for a little trash can. There's two. There's three, folks. There she is. It's wet again there. See, it leaks when I wash it somewhere. Huh. I'm going to take out the cab for this one. only got two screws. Unfortunately, that one's broken up there. There she goes. Oh, yeah. She needs dusted out. Pretty bad in there. She needs to dust it out. Look at that one. There. Got her. Got her out of there, finally. I was kind of debating on what I wanted to do, but I got her. Took the uh, vent out here, the filter. I 
that's what she looks like. Next up is the light. Cab light. Let's get her done. It's hard to do this and hold the camera. There it goes. It fell out. Hey, if any of you guys do know where these screws came from, that'd be awesome if you guys could tell me. They were just sitting on top of the on the top of the tray right here, and I'm not really sure where they came from. So if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. So I don't think I'm gonna disconnect this because one, it looks like a pain in the ass up there and there's a bunch of different connections to go to, but two, I'm not replacing this. So it don't really bother me just hang there and I'll get all the headliner off and whatnot. So that's not a really big deal to me. If I was replacing it, that's a different thing, but that's gonna stay there. Speaker covers off because one, I am replacing the speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the covers off to get all the speakers out. And uh, we're gonna replace the speakers as well because one of them is out and they're just not as good so we're just gonna take these out see what the pain in the butt they look like in there if you guys ever do want to get an interior kit they aren't really expensive if I remember the one for this one I did get 20% off from John Deere though they gave me 20% off this one was about 1400 bucks with everything so that seat, whole interior kit and everything, and speakers and a new aftermarket radio, all that was about 1400 bucks. So guys, I'm gonna check something out real quick on my speakers because I'm not sure if it comes with the wiring like this and that I just connect it here or how that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open my speakers and see what they have. All right, y'all, I recently just opened the uh, new speakers to see what they were like. They're like this. And yes, they came with that, so I don't have to worry about wiring any of that. I just plug it in, and I'm good to go. All right, y'all, if y'all ever feel like redoing your speakers, they come in two corners. They come with this little pin-type deal. It'll be in the two corners what holds the thing in there. So if you want to get that out, what I just realized is there's a little tab right here, and I literally just pried up on the tabs. You got to play with it quite a bit, but I literally went under the tabs. See, so yeah, it's coming up. She'll come right off. Boom. Got it. Now I'm going to get this one off. All right, folks, your cab should have little pins in each corner and pins like this right here and around here. Uh, what I did is I grabbed a flathead screwdriver and then I kind of went up to it right here and then pulled down on it. Whoops, that fell down. But once I did that, I grabbed uh, pliers and then I, what I did with the pliers, I grabbed around the head of it and then I pulled it. Mine came out. They're pretty difficult. Uh, my headliner is just junk, so I just kind of ripped around it and then pulled it out last because you kind of have to get up. It's kind of confusing, but uh, let's see what I can do here. Alrighty folks, I got it out. It's all out and good now. Got her out, I got all the pins out. I just made a pile right here. Uh, like I said, I kind of just ripped it out right there and then got them because it's a pain in the ass. And they gotta come out anyways. And it's just way harder to work with the headliner. Now, if it was already a new headliner and I had to fix something already, I would have done that a lot differently. But if you're doing a whole new headliner and kit install, I mean uninstall and then install, might as well, you know, and installing it will be a little bit different, but uh, I think we'll get her done anyway, so. All right, y'all, let me tell you, just rip it out, just go, just rip it out. But also, wear safety glasses because fiberglass in your eyes or insulation, which is probably fiberglass in there, does not feel good at all. Holy cow, that killed my eyes. I, after I got in my eyes, I was probably gone five minutes. I washed them out and stuff. We got it all out. And uh, now we got out all the interior up, up above stuff. Now we gotta do the seat and below all here and take out the mat. To be honest, this is pretty easy. I mean, being together, putting it back together is probably gonna be the harder part uh, which it always is. Uh, Tame parts is the most easy part. Go ahead and get yourself a quarter. 
uh, end socket with a half inch on it on the end with a little extension if you can uh, under the under the seat there's about four bolts under there to take the seat off go ahead and get all four of those bolts there's one there's second one Ratcheting wrenches, folks. They save lives. Boom, folks. Got her. All four done. Now the seat's coming out. Whatever. She's coming out. This was a pain in the rear, guys. This was so far the biggest pain of this project. The seat. Boom, folks. This is what we're down to. Seat and just the sides here. And we're gonna keep on rolling. All right, y'all, I'm taking out all these bolts for this floor right here. They're half inch as well uh, to get the headliner out from behind it, this little metal piece. So uh, we're gonna get going. It is time to the lower body area interior I'm gonna start ripping that out here so everything around here that's already falling out time to go all right folks we got everything out Besides back there, I think I'm about to take that off right there, but we got everything out. Here, the echo in here is pretty big, even with the windows open. But once I get that figured out, we're gonna grab a wire brush and we're gonna scrape off all this stuff. We're gonna blow everything out and we're gonna get her clean. All right, y'all, I finally got the seat out, finally. So what you're gonna do is take off your warning sign back here and there's gonna be three quarter uh, nuts on this side three-quarter nuts on this side and on the seat in here there will be the ones they should be welded to the seat frame right here on your seat frame they will be welded and then these ones are welded on the other side you can't get to and then there'll be nuts here so it's opposite from the top then the bottom so I finally got it out now we're gonna get a wire brush and once we get the wire brush, we clean all this out. And then I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to go blow it out, try and drive a tractor without a seat. So wish me luck. All right, y'all, I got the Milwaukee and the uh, wire brush. I'm going to go around and start wiring brushing the whole thing, getting all this stuff out of here. And then I'm going to blow her out. And, uh, well, let's get started. <laughs>
lights hitting up there. Such beautifulness. I love living on the farm, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the real question of the build. Do we straight pipe it with a chrome straight pipe exhaust? Let me know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm.